Christmas in Finland? Well, of course, it's a big, big happening in Finland as here as well. Of course, morning sauna and uh, just to go to sauna and after this we eat porridge and uh, it's this special kind of porridge we, we do and uh, after this usually we clean, clean the house and set everything in place and uh, then we go to church just to for the listen to the beautiful songs and, and uh, to get some Christmas feeling from there and then then we come home back and uh, then we start to eat pretty fast actually five six o'clock we start to eat you go to the church afterwards and then you start i've heard that you start to eat when you see the first star uh, i'm not sure if this is right but and uh, but mainly the the food and everything is quite the same i think with the fish or or this this kind of dishes so at that and you probably don't go to sauna as well <laughs> Santa is coming usually after the dinner and uh, not through the gym <laughs> chimney but uh, but uh, but when I was a kid it was the biggest biggest uh, thing of course for me and for my brother and for my sister when he came and we were all nervous and we spoke to him what we wanted to have uh, for Christmas and ab about everything actually and uh, it's a great memory I have. Sometimes we don't have it e either. I think two last years we haven't had uh, any snow. This is not the winter I remember when I was a kid so of course everyone wants to snow just even a little one a little bit because to to bring the Christmas uh, feeling, feeling to that. But uh, I think this year maybe it will happen that the snow will come. I'm Finnish, but uh, I speak Swedish. Uh, it's called Finnish Swedish. 5% of Finnish people, they speak Swedish as the first tongue because Sweden, Finland uh, was a part of Sweden before, so we have a big history. Uh, and uh, my wife speaks Swedish as well. So my mom, mother speaks Swedish, so, but my father then again speaks Finnish, so I speak both languages. My Polish is it's okay. Uh, I understand a lot, uh, especially the football language, if we say so, uh, because I hear it every day. And uh, so in that way, I don't need any translator anymore. But uh, of course, if I go somewhere else in the middle of the century uh, in the city and someone asks about uh, completely some other things, maybe I don't understand everything. But uh, I'm pretty satisfied what I what I can. Feels like it's five years ago. It's been uh, it's a long time ago. The first year uh, actually was quite quite hard for me because everything was new and uh, I was compared to the old uh, Lech player and uh, now Legia player and compared all the time what I did in Lech, what I did here, blah blah blah. So it was tough, it, it was tough and uh, I need, it felt like I need to show all the time a little bit extra to everyone. But now, now for sure I feel more relaxed and more comfortable. This is football, to is Piukanosna. For me, it took a little while. Uh, with the coaches, of course, they were different than I used to. They didn't maybe give me the confidence. They didn't maybe trust me as much as I would have liked to. But now, now for sure, uh, I've get, I've gotten some minutes and play play time. So it, it's good for me. Compared to last last season, when uh, when I was uh, I came came in quite often uh, during the game, played 10 minutes, 15 minutes, tried to make an impact. And uh, now, then again, it's totally different. Uh, now I I'm starting the games quite often. I feel more comfortable with this. Uh, I feel more comfortable about myself. 